bragging rights. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think the most exciting part here is obviously, for, for me, the whole tournament is Cloud9, just uh, seeing if they could uh, pull off like they did during ESL, ESEA. Uh, now, obviously, they will not end up playing versus Fnatic in a final, but um, a CIS team. So can they, can they um, perhaps come up, come up with their, their first win here in, the, in a tournament setting, in an international tournament? Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, right? It, it's been a decent little run of events for them. So, th so this is one of the things, and then to debate the tad where teams aren't able to attend all the events right now just because they have you to You should hold that thought, because we are actually live. I know we're live. I was going to make it quick. Really? Yeah, I was. You never make stuff quick. Wow. I was just going to... Well, okay. Well, we're, <laughs> it's going to be not quick enough, because we got Simple already up middle, so maybe I didn't have time. But it's either way, it's going to be a, a really solid mid push. But Simple's already spotted, hasn't been able to get the kill. He has got 74, but there's two players now around that corner. Good flash out, but he hasn't been able to spot Edward. He's still going to stick here. I thought that flash might have been an invitation to get back down middle so we can abandon ship if he has to. Because the longer he stays, the more Navi players join up against him. And he realizes now he's got 15 HP as they all push onto his position. There is still two more players in middle, Bondic, and there's the crossfire. They step one foot too far forward to that corner, and Bondic gets the shot on Seized. Gives them the first kill, and Simple still alive. They bail out. They don't even want to fight him because they know now that there's a support system in place, so they go back toward A, and the rotations off A do leave the opening at the front of the site. They walk in. As Flamey's going to take down Bondic, it's Guardian on top of the stairwell. Spots another just in time to take down Simple again. Low HP for him, so it wasn't hard with that Glock. But the bomb is now going to be put in place, or is it? It can't be because they've got Hiko coming around from CT spawn, and he's already prevented that plant from coming in initially. He spots it up on the crossfire, and that's going to be Blade to get the kill on Guardian. Edward responding, it's down to Hiko. One on two, high HP. But he himself has no more than his opponents do. They've got 10 higher when you combine it, so he's still got a hard job here of trying to make this not happen, but he does have the ability of stopping the bomb plant because it's down to 18 seconds, and Hiko's going to close it out. The guest from the West, he's already known. Yeah, a great play by Hiko. One on two, getting that. That was a nice one shot as well onto uh, the second player. Good tactic by uh, Flipside as well, running up mid with Simple and just having a crossfire, because what happened was that like, Navi got very nervous, even though they had a player coming up from Palace, clearing out the whole A bomb site. Uh, causing to rotate over, but by that by that time, you know, Simple already, already already got the entry flip side, and uh, even though they <coughs> they managed to get back with to a four on four, it turned out in their uh, in their favor. And Simple goes directly to the scout, but Guardian already actually tagged him up a little bit through the edge of the wall with the deagle. But Simple now jumping, realizes he's got two players making company from the lower part of the site, or excuse me, the map from the underpass. As Blade's going to fall out of connector upon getting smoked off. So we knew a more conservative position. The crossfire, as we can see, is set up from Markalov on catwalk. But Flamey's got entrance from Palace. He actually poked himself out, spotted over to Connector, and then ran back as Simple now is going to take down Navi, switching to the CZ. So he's got decent guns out, considering it's only round number two. And Simple now is going to collect two more using that scout and again the pistol, so adding up some money. But look at Zeus and Flamey. Each a kill to bring it back to a two on two. So both these rounds have been close so far. No bomb plant, though, in the first one. That's the important thing for Na'Vi. They won't be able to do much into the next round without one here. Although they have picked up rifles. Hiko again, though, late in the round, making his presence known. A hat trick in this one already, and Flamey has to recover the bomb. 33 seconds to do so. A Simple plays a passive angle to make sure he's not going to get pushed from behind, and he's going to be spotted out by Simple. It's his job to take him down and just give Hiko the information. Hiko's actually going to jump out the window and try and take him dead on. And Flamey might not be prepared for this, but he does spot him up with the Tech-9. 19 seconds, has the space to move back over to the site, but he might not beat Simple there. As Simple comes up the stairwell, it's left to Hiko, and Hiko coming up, again, going to clutch it out for his team. Yeah, very expensive round from uh, for flip side. It was kind of cutting it close. Hiko had 28 HP, so... Uh, yeah, close, but no cigar for flip side. They actually ask for the HP there. As simple says 28. Yeah. Just to go back to my thought, I was going to say it's been, it's, there's been a lot more events that Flipside have been able to showcase themselves at lately. Star, yeah. Star Ladder, for example, now they're at this one, they're in a decent team pool to move to the top, so it's a good string of events for them to build up some experience. Yeah, make for it sure, especially, these stages. especially considering they, 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 uh, that they can't attend majors uh, because of Simple, so uh, having them attend other tournaments like this, but we will see a very fast smoke run here coming into the Flipside. And Blade looks to be smoked off the stairwell. Bondix up close as well, and Bondic only gets the first kill before Guardian comes through with the P250. So finally, Navi might get a bomb plant down, but he's going to place it right in front of Blade. Blade's not going to hear that, though, because he shuffles over to take down Guardian and loses his life in the process. So, bomb is in place. Two versus three post-plant situation. No rifles recovered, but Tech Nine's up. Never mind, doesn't matter. Hiko again, picking up two. Yeah, and that was um, yet another force by coming in from, uh, from Navi. Even though they got the bomb down, 
uh, knowing that it was only Hiko that survived their previous round, they figured, okay, if we win this one, we'll buy up again, we'll do a smoke round on A, get the bomb down at least, and if we manage our winning, we're going to put, hopefully, flip side on Hiko. But the guns are going to come out now for Navi. And you're right, I mean, look at the buy that CTs have. They're 850 left after Blade brings out another rifle. They're going to stay, in fact, on the SMG for Markolov. And it's not a lot of nades for Navi here. Guardian looking toward A right now. And you're right, there's not a lot of nades at all. In fact, two smokes only left, which isn't enough to cover off the entire A site, as we know. There's going to be a gap either at the top of the stairwell or on jungle. They should cover off CT, you would expect, but Palace has already smoked off an effect, and that flash coming through means Zeus, who was getting ready to push in with his teammates, has to delay just a little bit longer, so that allows Blades to take down Seize, but Navi... Gets Flamey at least back in a position to get a refrag. That gives him the man advantage again for the moment, but Hiko's coming around, and Hiko is going to spot out one, almost nailing the second, but Flamey over the top from Tetris is going to get the kill, and there's the UMP, though, dropping the bomb in the middle of the site. It's still left to a two-on-two. -two. Low HP for flip side. Chance for recovery here from Navi, but Edward pacing himself, taking his time, trying to figure out exactly where they're playing, and as he does that, Zeus is going to drop down, but he hears him fall out the window. Edward definitely heard the drop, and now he's going to get that first kill. Dose with a 180, realizing there's a good chance the second player... Having taken down his teammate, has rotated back through CT, and this is actually a full rotation from Bondic. This is going to allow the bomb to get in position, but Edward's not planning it yet. He's still looking for exactly what's going to happen, and Bondic may expect that this is going to back, go back over to Ward B. It's not. Edward has had a chance to put this bomb down for the last 10 seconds. Now he will hold the plant. This will put Bondic in position so that he won't be able to escape, but he's actually going to because he doesn't cover the left side. Edward and Shadow could actually get all the way toward Tetris right now and be in a really good post-plant position, and that's exactly what's going to happen. So Bondic, who's going hunting oh, directly no toward idea. Firebox, he's got no idea at all. He doesn't think Edward's made it out this far, and his back's going to be exposed. It's an easy shot for Edward, and Navi pick up their first. Yeah, and a very smart round by Navi, considering they only had two smoke grenades. So there's no point in doing a smoke round uh, that round. Uh, just, uh, just, uh, just walk up and, and get the duel, and if they end up uh, getting a bunch of people, they can just smoke off spawn later and get the bomb down. Uh, getting those entries on there as well. If they would have just do done a regular smoker in the beginning, if they got pushed back but with a bunch of flashes, then those would have faded by the time they got to the bomb site. Bondic all the way inside Palace already. You mentioned it. Just a single round loss and already back to pistols for flip side. So Navi getting themselves back into this game very early. And Zeus collecting an SMG kill. Guardian Edward each on AKs. They're already inside the A site. It leaves Blade inside Connector, and he's just going to look to pop out at the last possible second to try and take some shots. And that's what he does to Guardian, picking up the AK. Can't switch over fast enough, and Navi just as quick as that. We'll have one round the difference now, three to two. And the guns are still limited, but simple. Here it is, straight to the op. Has enough for armor? Does he go for utilities? I imagine it's going to be armor. In fact, double op, so they're going for it, and it's going to be Markolov. Yeah, and uh, for Guardian, he actually could have put an op uh, himself but no nades, but he, uh, he ended up opting for the AK anyway. And I like that they didn't go for the head armor. So it gives Simple two flashes. Markolov does the same thing. He's got an HE nade as well. So a little bit more for him. So old school Markolov picking up the op again. Zeus already down the underpass, looking up toward Connector. As Blade inside the smoke has to fall back just a little bit. Nade oh. goes in and it's gonna actually get him because he collected a bullet from the AK just before it landed. So well played from Zeus to win that duel. Frustrating turn of events for Blade. As Markolov, though, inside ladder room, sees that nade go out. He knows Edward's coming, so he's going to fall to a safe angle. Has to hit the shot and then move back. Misses the shot. Now he's going to get pushed, and Edward flashing himself in with the M4. Luckily, he's already around the corner, and the no-scope can't happen. Markolov not able to react in time for Edward to just joust him up close. This leaves them to push in on B and Simple. Look at him. He's trapped on catwalk. Might fight himself out of this, though, as he takes down Edward, and this is the right call push away from the site, get away from where three players are, try and take another one-on-one, -on -one, and that's where Simple's going to win out against Seized as well. But Hiko on 29 HP. Leaves them in a three-on-three. -three. Bomb planted. Guardian staring directly toward the kitchen, and Zeus is going to come back toward him. Oh, Hiko, excuse me, where he's playing on catwalk, and Zeus is going to be the one to take him down. As Simple gets one more inside the site, has the off looking for another and can't get the shot just yet because they don't get into the open and they can't hit it when he tries on the first attempt. As Guardian using that pillar to his own advantage, it's still a two on one and it's going to be Guardian. Simple tries to bait out on the defuse. We're tied up already. Yeah, and uh, Markov miss, missing that shot on Calvok that really cost him. Uh, Edward just pushing, knowing that uh, he's never going to be able to run back on time. Uh, getting, getting the initial pick on, on Markov and really opened up the B bomb site. And he had no choice other than push Catwalk. Yeah, he sure, he got, he, 
he got it, he, he got Edward back, but by then, it, you know, they, they could have got the, they got the bomb down and uh, they had to play retake. So P250s again, just one more round with guns before they go right back to the pistols, because the loser round bonus is not quite in full effect. It's only up to three rounds, and Markalov trying to use P250 can't duel out Edward, who's got the SMG. Nades came out from Bondic, actually. It's towards Simple, he dodges it, and now Simple pushing forward, catches Zeus right after Bondic got a kill, but Guardian's there with the op, manages to come back with, with at least one, but Bondic's recovered an AK, so this is interesting now that it's in a three-on-three -three with a rifle up. And as I say that, the situation turns again. Hiko gets dropped from Edward, who's made it inside the B site, and the rotation coming alive late, but the bomb's still not down. It's actually back in apartments still, but C's taking down Blade. It's got an easy entrance toward B, but taking its time. From underpass now into the apartments, they'll go toward this plant, and Bondic's just going to lurk in with this AK. Yeah, not really that much you can do here, Bondic. And staying hold in hopes that someone just rotates back here, maybe getting a kill or two. Yeah, I mean, this is a recovered rifle, right? And they've had to save two rounds already in the half, so it might be worth it to hold on to. And Edward's actually going to head the right direction. Bondic going to hear him coming last second, takes him down. Knows Guardian's also pushing, but Guardian has the op, so he needs to be aware of that angle when he comes back up. And Guardian got in position first, so Navi will take the lead immediately from flip side. And this is where things start to struggle with flip side. Economy not really working in their favor. Their CT side has fallen short many times on this map. And against Navi, you're going to need to play both halves in full. Yeah, you want they have a really good on this spot. Map. Flip side have a really good spawn towards mid here if they want to push middle, though. Uh, we'll see. They, that I think I was looking that they were actually going to do that. Considering simple as the off, they can just push. They can just push middle and um, and have simple cover, getting some control. Simple is going to be the one to get that control, taking down Guardian. So Edward has to pick up the off. Recovered from his deceased teammate. Zeus still waiting underpass. Thinks that Simple might have dropped to look that for that shot. He hasn't yet. But he's rotated back in toward window. In fact, he's going to go further than that. He's gone through the vents over toward B. But there's no full commitment just yet. That bomb is still waiting in the courtyard of the B apartments. So could easily rotate back toward mid once they get some presence. And the late smoke out on window is exactly their intention. As Zeus waits for the flames to extinguish, he'll be able to push up toward connector. Pop flash out just to deter his efforts just a little bit. But there's his smoke. And this actually leaves options because his smoke will allow them to work catwatch should they choose to do so as well because that bomb again still has not committed it's still sitting inside that courtyard yeah we're looking at looking at b here so is actually doing the same thing as they did their previous round where he flanked hiko on the cap on, onto catwalk so if they do manage to get hiko here as a as a quick entry getting the bomb down i think Seuss might do a lot of damage coming into connect now hiko using his own flash no, there actually, actually be, that was pretty cool because he actually was able to spot up too while they were blinded and they didn't realize they were spotted but either way they're backing up and it's flamey to take down Blade first, but Zeus, he's got an inside window. He can actually cut them off. He hears one go past, so he's actually going to shoot Simple right in the back as soon as he gets in towards CT. Markalov dies a similar fate, but Hiko fights himself out of it to stay alive. That leaves it in a two-on-two, -two. and Bondic, he's doing massive work as Bondic collects all three from Sandwich. Well played from him as he waits on the A-site solo, and it's back to a tie game. Yeah, I was going to call that, actually. Just Bondic having a very good position, considering Navi had no time whatsoever. Uh, him just getting the bomb, uh, the bomb planner there would have just cost the Navi the round. Uh, but instead, he just got three, and it was, it was a really nice round by Bondic. So now Guardian, look how aggressive he is already inside the corner of the A site. No one peeking that from CT, so he had the AWP already in position to cover off most angles in the site. The last angle he couldn't get a peek toward was where Bondic was playing in shadow. And having heard him run back, he threw the Molotov, so he can't go for the repeek. As Flamey's posted up in Palace. Bomb coming back over from the horseshoe. They're going to drop it back and T-spawn as they still do have the Lurk player and seized in these B apartments. So they've got all bases of the map covered right now. And Na'Vi just waiting for this passive play like always to find an opening pick, to find someone who's going to get impatient and push toward them and then take the advantage in numbers. And if they don't get it, they'll slowly group up as they look to do now and execute very quickly onto the A site. And they've got a good a hefty amount of flashes, or excuse me, smoke grenades this time. Four of them, in fact. Zeus the only one without, and Zeus is already down, so it's a good thing he wasn't one of the ones carrying him. Yeah, and that was, um, I think Zeus went a little bit too early there, considering that you had to rotate coming into the bomb, the bomb carrier as well. 
Bondic looking to get the shot toward Flamey. Successful again from the same position he clutched last time, and this time Seize is aware of it coming over the top, but Blade is able to trade on him because he was hyper-focused before Edward gets back on Simple. But Edward stuck inside Connector with Markalov directly behind him on Catwalk. Has really no room to play. The sandbox yeah. is full and Guardian's running. Yeah, when, when Seuss does that, when, uh, when you have Guardian all the way up in Palace, so they already spotted Guardian jumping over from, from jungle area. When Seuss just walks up and he ends up falling, all the, all the nades will just rain in and there's really nothing Navi can do there. It would be better just for Seuss to, to hold a little bit and just go together so you actually have more than one person going up to, to the box on A. On a. But he does manage to save his off, though. Yeah, which is crucial. Because they are in a situation now where they're going to have to be strapped for cash. And interesting that it's going to be four M4s brought out because they actually did have money on Blade to bring up an op and drop it over should they have chosen to. So Simple's not going to have his weaponry. They'll play this more passive, in fact. And where does Guardian choose to position himself right now with the op? He's going to be top middle, and they've actually already got Zeus down to the cubby, and they're going for the boost, but Hiko, or rather Simple, they're confusing me with the Simple Hikovic, Hiko Simplevic, but Simple's the one that's waiting. He's going to catch Seized on the jump, and Guardian's not looking for the shot to get back into him, but isn't going to be able to do it because he's just waiting passively on the secondary angle, switching to the pistol, had them lined up, but he still needs to be aware that Guardian is up there with that, ache, or excuse me, with that op. If he overextends a little bit, they could win over mid, because look how stacked and poised they are to take over Connector, and Simple using a smoke and a cross back over to get to safety. Which is the right play right now. Yeah, very smart play. I think he knew that Guardian was top mid as well. That's why he didn't overpeak. And Flamey on 15 HP now has Guardian moving up. They're getting closer and closer to a bomb site. And Guardian actually hit that shot up close as we saw. Markalov was waiting over to his left. Blade returns the favor though into Zeus with the M4. And Guardian looking toward window now has Simple. So saving that off. The one gun making a massive amount of difference right now. They still haven't recovered rifles because of it. But they've got it to an even keel. It's three on three, and they look toward B. It's going to be Hiko that's waiting in the back of the site, staring toward the apartments, but he'll hear them coming in from Catwalk. So he'll fight his time before he goes to the peak. Successful on the first. Flamey goes down. He spotted the second as well, but he's playing ring around the Rosie. He knows one's gone to his left, and as he goes to the peak, it's Edward to take him down, picking up the M4, going immediately for the plant, looking to Guardian to cover. As they try and get a little bit closer. Rotation now coming from Catwalk. The first player is already inside. Checker and Guardian. Jumping through the middle of the site was very low on HP, but Blade was not in a position to capitalize. They're both in red HP. It's 7 and 20, in fact, right now for Navi. And a big flank coming in from Bondic. He's inside the apartments. Blade's not aware that he's about to get flanked himself, though, and it might be just in time right now for Edward and Guardian got Bondic before that, so nothing to come of that flank. And flip side, throw the round away. It's Navi's play. Yeah, and uh, Blade was a little bit, uh, I think... It I think he really made the right call or the wrong call there, actually trying to flank instead because he wasted so much time and it just cost the uh, player in the, in the kitchen area for just to stay very passive, even though uh, Navi players had so little HP. Edward actually being very smart, pushing into kitchen, just trying to make a play there considering the, the low amount of HP they had. Guardian looking through that smoke again. Still nothing to work from this. Again, working underpass, consistently working underpass right now. And Seize is going to work back over toward B. And Hiko again playing that position. We saw them use him there yesterday just because he can rotate late B in that clutch position. And it's usually an unutilized position. But he's going to have a lot of company in this particular game with Seize lurking the way that he is. As Edward and Flamey do a good job here. Taking down all their duels so far. There it is. Seized onto Hiko, leaving just Simple remaining. And Simple with the Deagle. Not able to hit the first shot on Zeus. Goes back out, tries to spam it, but... Unsuccessful in a flawless round right there from Navi. Yeah, which is crucial for their economy. You can just see there how much economy they're building there just by winning that um, that eco with Garden Garden's only uh, op. Guns come back up, but look how broken it is still. Double Famas in this situation, having just lost a round and gone for the save. Yeah. This does benefit uh, Flipside a little bit though, if uh, Navi opts to do a, a smoke round onto the bomb side later. Because they do have, well, that's a decoy. They do have three guys on A, and uh, Markov is pushed up. Did they have one in the other pass? Not right now, not currently. Oh, they do, right? Yeah, Markov pushed up. Oh, yeah, he did. Yep, you're right. I thought he was cat. It's like the nuke overlay where you can never tell. Yeah, from the radar. But you're right. Markov was down inside underpass, so he's gonna rotate back. This is actually gonna stack up the A site quite heavily, and that might be the right call because Navi is grouped with two inside A main right now. 
Guardians using the op to try and find the entry right now as they leave no smoke oh, on jungle on the initial he sees the feet. push. He did see the feet, but it's Bondic that still gets flamey. He's looking for more. He spots it. Can he hit him at least to do some damage? So far unsuccessful, but he walks out into the open. It's actually simple that gets taken down in transition as Bondic rotates back on top of the patio. But seized again, lurking on Hiko late. That's so frustrating for Hiko as he again gets dropped. This will bring the bomb all the way back through T-spawn. 39 seconds. They pretty much have to commit to this rotation. But Blade's already here inside. Checker and jumping up, spotting Seized. Gets him through the smoke. No idea where the shots came in from this Bamas. As it gets back to a two-on-two. Two. Blade just on 10 HP, though, and Edward's just going to get there now. Again, had to fully commit to the bomb, so Edward went back to escort it. But it's arrived. And Blade's going to have to play this on sound. Bondic's going to make it a little bit easier for him as he finds the first, but Edward knows where they are. he is now because he's come out from the truck, and there it is. It's going to be Bondic holding true. They knew where each other were, and Bondic gets the better of it. 6-6, six, six, we're staying even keel, and this is perfect for flip side. Yeah, it is, and the seeds there. Uh, throwing a barrier of smoke into the kitchen area, just trying to take control, making sure that uh, Flipside can't put, uh, rotate back to the B bomb site. When he went down there, you saw, because um, they had so much time, because now they're up on the A bomb site, having to rotate all the way back to, towards B, it, that takes a lot of time. And the nade bouncing deep, not going to do any damage. Guardian, though, does find Hiko immediately, as Edward's the one to lurk in mid this time, try and get up around the corner. Find that map control. But Guardian, that shot on A, has to force a bit of a rotation. And who's it going to be that they pull? It's actually going to be Blade. So they'll leave a passive mid right now and get Blade more toward Connector. And you can see Hiko. He's entirely changed his position just on the radar alone. He was playing aggressively immediately in front of the balcony at B Apartments. He's now playing a passive hold because he's so worried about Seized coming in late. He can't get the information. He can't play aggressive. He knows that Lurk is there. And just by playing in his head right now, this is actually the round he could push up, because it isn't, but... Yeah, exactly. And uh, for flip side here, they really try, need to uh, go a little bit aggressive and try and get a uh, revenge frag onto, onto Navi, so they at least make it a 4 versus 4 situation, because this could be very dangerous. Simple. Here to go aggressive. Simple though does take down Edward. Zeus looking to try and push through this smoke. He's going to have to go quickly. His team is working on the front of the site, dodging that flash, and Zeus actually has a chance to get around the corner. As Seized is going to just make sure Shadow's clear. Team's already in. Bondic hasn't spotted them yet. He's the only one on top of the site, but he's binding his time correctly right now, and he may just catch them if they overlook his position as he looks back out, and Guardian's already looking the wrong direction. Simple now collecting Cs. It's working okay for Flipside as Markolov's going to get another, and Blade will close the round. Well done by Flipside to wait it out, bait the utilities, and come in late with shots. Yeah, and Flipside uh, having a... In that four versus, or four versus five situation, Simple actually pushing into the uh, window room and Bonnick actually pushing through the smoke in middle, just trying to get some control back because they had nothing and uh, it gets really dangerous. Just getting that initial frag just caused uh, Flipside to be able to just fall back and just hold the bomb site correctly. And, uh, and that's exactly what you want to do in that situation. Really need to equalize the score. Allows Zeus to push up a little bit further. Secondary smoke on Catwalk will actually, a little bit deeper, allow them to work in a connector as they split onto the A site. Guardian's already in, and it's going to be a flash over the top. Blade's blinded, but Simple's actually found Seas lurking, and Simple's looking for more from CT as he tries to spam through the box. Now he spots it up, but Flamey, excellent shot with the Tech-9, and he's in in midair. The apex of the jump, and Hiko coming through doesn't realize that Flamey's actually already worked into CT as he goes to readdress that issue. He has another one climbing through the vents in the form of Zeus, but that's covered off by Markolov. Unfortunately, Markolov now has a one-on-three. Round 14, still one more to go. It looks like it could be 7-7 as this one's set to expire. And Markolov doesn't even look to go connector and try and get one more exit kill. He's just going to run away and hightail it with the M4. Yeah, and Flipside really needs to find a way here to actually stop Navi from doing what they're doing on the A bomb side, just walking up A ramp, getting those duels that they so, so desperately need. Um, having Flipside maybe throw a flash down there, maybe have one guy pushing, push Palace, just try and gain some control so you don't let Navi do what they want. Because they were on a force by there, having Tech Nines and, uh, and AKs, sure they did have the nades, but uh, at that point in time, they, Flipside, you really can't have uh, let Navi do that. Uh, on post round, Guardian going down. Not going to make much of a difference as we head into round 15, but Seized is actually pretty low on income right now. They're actually going to drop an AK over toward him, and Guardian having died, actually, okay, the op is out. I was going to say, is he able to grab the op or not? but it was already passed over. Meanwhile, look at Flipside. 
SMG Deagle Dual 5.7 and a single M4 only on Markolov. Hiko this time is actually going to get up on top of the balcony. Drops himself down there, knows they're coming, and Edwards actually got up mid that quickly. He's already on catwalk, and Hiko was not at all expecting that, so Edward continuing on, rank, wreaking havoc right now. It's going to be simple to drop next. Blade coming over in a late rotation, but the bomb's already in position, and this just simply means that Blade's got a heck of a big job in front of a massive task, and Vondick with only the 5.7. He's going to actually get in behind one player on mid, missing the shots. Guardian turns back, easy shot with the op. Give Guardian a second chance, he'll take it any day of the week, and all five stay alive. 8-7, decent half from Na'Vi, but decent half from Flipside as well in their CT. Yeah, but Na'Vi started off... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Na'Vi started off very slow in that, uh, in that first half, with Flip, Flipside taking the pistol uh, after that massive clutch by, by Hiko. Uh, coming back into the game, I'd say 8-7 is, uh, is actually really good uh, for Na'Vi, considering how good their CT side is as well. And that, well, that's, I mean, that's the thing. For Flipside, I say it's a decent half. You, you, naturally expect more on the CT side, but it has been their struggle. We'll see again. Yesterday they were a little slow to close the game on this map, but we'll see if they can uh, get back to their normal ways on T side. It's a much, much more worthy opponent on this map, though. This is home turf for Na'Vi. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Vonik should drop to take 9 to Hiko here. Going glass cannon, take 9 and a smoke, and they are looking to just take some initial control here. Zeus opens it up very quickly, though, as he finds Blade. And look at that early mid-presence from Na'Vi. Four players. It's such a very valid tactic, because in the middle, because since the rotation on this map is so fast, just gaining mid-control, even if they go A or B, you're going to be so fast on the rotate anyway, just having people spot. So uh, it's a good call from Na'Vi. Hiko gets one in and then bows out. They trade him immediately. But now they'll disperse and cover off each individual bomb site. As it's Flamey that goes all the way back over towards CT on A. He's going to be the farthest away from the action, though. The bomb is grouped up right now inside the apartments. Late rotation coming over from Bondic, but as soon as he gets there, look for Simple and Markalov to work in. And that's exactly going to be the case. No one inside the site directly, although there is two players right now on catwalk. And they'll be able to play from reverse. They'll spot this coming in, and it's going to be Seize that is the first to do so, firing out the shots. He realizes they're across, and here comes the player from Checker, so they'll... Play for the retake and try and at least prevent the bomb play, but the bomb is going down right now, and in fact, it's in position, so at least Flipside have that to work with to look for an early buy on round three. But they're losing a lot of life right now, and it's Bondic at least fighting himself back against Seas. Has the Tech-9 still a chance first Guardian? Not going to happen. Guardian, he's going to win the exchange. They'll get the defuse. No kit, no problem. It's still going to be 8-7, to seven, or rather, excuse me, I take that back. It's going to be 9-7. to seven. Yeah, and Seas uh, just playing the catwalk area, making sure that Flipside doesn't just push in, and let's say the, the ends are falling. Yeah, then you're... Flipside just have a very good positioning. Staying alive the way that he did, he actually didn't end up dying. He actually ended up getting simple there as well. Uh, just, uh, just humping the pillar. Yeah. But now it's, again, we saw that bomb go down. They bought it a deagle on simple. He always does that. But they're still going to be in an okay position for the third round. Specifically, they can get another bomb plant here. And right now we get to that bomb is dropped inside B apartment as they do put two in the underpass. Hiko is going to be the first of which to move forward. Zeus just taking that jump, see if he spots anyone. Blade may just spot him. In fact, the barrel was exposed. I'm not sure if Blade saw it in time, though, as he got in behind the cardboard boxes. He needs to be careful because he's in the open, and if Zeus goes for the peak aggressively, Blade's going to have nowhere to hide, and that's going to be the case. He spots him up, not able to get the shot, though, because Hiko was up on top of the ledge and had the angle onto him, so has to be careful how he peaks and how he commits because... Dropping an M4, although not in a recoverable position early on, would be a problem, and Blade's going to take down Seas, but Edward's there, so no gun picked up, no gun recovered. Markolov just wants to put someone on his shoulders. Who's going to be the one to jump forward? It's Hiko, and he's just going to wait this out, and in fact drops back down because he knows Zeus is there. He heard the shots hit the wall, even though it's silenced, and Flamey's going to take Bondic in the meantime. Markolov, though, getting up close and personal with Flamey, as he had very little HP, wins that duel, but there it is. Guardian waiting all the while with the op. Gets another round for Navi. Yeah, and overall, very good uh, eco from Flipside. Having, uh, having only pistols, like nothing else, no nades, no nothing. Uh, a deagle on simple, but everyone else had a P250. So we will see a buy here. Uh, at least they have all the smokes. Not that many, that, not, not that many flashes, but if you just do a regular pick and play here, you can use the flashes for, for an execute later. Simple, just going to flash himself around that corner. That actually does blind. That cat catches Guardian, and Guardian just trying to fire back through the smoke. He knows the angles, one to the left, one to the right. But now Zeus, look at that aggressive play. Blade already out from underpass. Zeus saw him going over, so he just exposes himself, and Hiko not in a position to refrag 
or even deal any damage, watches his teammate go down helplessly. So he's going to push forward, but Zeus is not fooled. He's going to stay passive and not even expose himself. Wait for Hiko to walk into his crosshair. That would be the ideal situation, would it not, as Hiko looks to try and get in toward that connector. You want flash here from, uh, from Flipside. And flashing into Hiko connector could actually cause a lot of damage here. It won't actually happen, though, so Navi actually could fall back to a safer position. And Hiko with the flash from underpass looks to go through. Spam's on the wooden window, but no one on the other side can catch those bullets because they were crouched and not exposed, was Zeus. And through the smoke, Simple's actually going to go for this. He missed. I, I think he actually looked for the jump and fell yeah, back down, so Zeus is now going to get tagged up, and Simple doesn't get the positioning they were looking for. And this gives up there in mid, so Zeus on 13 is going to go hunting because at the very least he can get information. He may get more, and he takes down the bomb. It's Markalov gets looking for the second. It's Eko to get him back at least. But Eko reloading the AK. They're running low on time. 13 seconds, and that bomb has to go all the way from connector to the site. That's where Guardian's waiting, and he takes down the support system in Bondix, so they're not even going to be in a position to put the bomb down. Or where are they? Simple taking down Guardian. They just barely get it in position, and now Eko, or excuse me, Simple rather, gets seized. But Edward's back. It's down to a one-on-one, -on -one. and Edward... 100 HP versus Hiko's 25, and Hiko looking exposed late. Not gonna happen. Edwards not fooled at all. Yeah, I get it. Gets in mid air, and uh, you saw there coming into um, when they were pushing into A. Markov actually getting caught off guard in the connector. It was actually Hiko who spotted Zeus with a very low HP, and he started shooting at the Famas. And I think that's where you notice the communication problems. I'm sure he, I'm sure he could call the connector. There's one connected to your right. Markov probably didn't catch that on, and he just ran straight, uh, uh, straight by him. Which is interesting because Markalov's the most English speaking player on that team. Yeah, but when it gets nerdy, you know, yeah, it gets absolutely. stressful yeah. and they're, they're calling, it's like, like we gotta go away, we, we're losing time. And suddenly in your head, you're switching back and forth between yeah. the as well. Yeah, I guess he's calling confusing. to his teammates in Russian. So Ops gonna go back out for Guardian. They still manage to get guns up again on flip side with two Galils, two AKs, a single Tech 9 to work with. Armor on everyone, no head armor for Blade, and only that single smoke for him. So we'll see how they choose to try and open up sites and use that late to get a bomb down. The bomb, meanwhile, has been dropped all the way back inside the entrance to the B apartment. So right now they're just trying to get information, get a read, and then they'll grab that and run when the time comes. Is he go? Is he going to react in time? Does, and he knows that he's exposed. Guardian's actually, oh my goodness. So nearly goes down. One more shot from Hiko through the wooden window. He was gone, and Guardian instead goes for the repeak with only the op. And I say only the op, but only 22 HP in the op and gets the shot. Played meanwhile gets Zeus to bring it back to an even setting, so it's going to be Markalov pushing through. He's got this Tech 9. Flash already dodges out the first player behind the van, and now Markalov gets in there, but Bondic taking down Seize. This gives Navi a bit more of a chance, or rather flip side more of a chance as Edward gets caught off, and Bondic again. Excellent shot as the bomb goes down. Another plant. They're getting so many plants right now. If they could just get the kills and get into good post plant situations as they had done so here, these rounds would be pretty excellent. Gamers for you. Excellent stat to bring up in this situation. Yeah, right. Uh, but yeah, nothing Navi can do here, really. He could, even though he, he lost the, the, the Druel versus Guardian, uh, Flipside playing it really smart, just saying, okay, well, if he's there, and we saw one guy very early on Catwalk, just rush B with what we have with the Tech Dines and just take, try and take over the site. The Molotov that they used back the site towards Edward, just one of the round. So flip side, getting one more on the score. Guardian's still going to have the op. Money's still fairly tight, but again, these bomb plants coming down, this helps a lot for flip side to keep themselves in it. Even if they get bomb plants consistently, even if they're just staying in rounds and staying competitive, they'll be able to buy out a lot more aggressively and potentially break Navi in a much f sooner fashion as they've done here. I mean, just that M4 out for Flamey and that op that Guardian saved, it's going to be seized. Zeus and Edward all on pistols. And a mixed group of pistols, 5.7, CZ-75, and a Deagle. Yeah, you see the Navi. You can, you can tell the Navi's poor when they, when they actually just stack the bomb site. They don't have no mid-presence. They have nothing, basically. One leaving, one guy on B, and one aggressive onto, onto Catwalk in the, in the hut there. But the positioning on the Navi players onto the A bomb site is just... Nice shot by Edward. Up through the vent, down he goes, and now it's going to be in on top of the A site. Simple looking for the entrance, has spotted up two, hasn't been able to hit the shots, and Flamey actually gets back out on the secondary peak. But Bondic still coming in, takes down Zeus. And Blade, look how deep in the site he is, considering he's not been spotted. Flamey, meanwhile, actually gets out of harm's way in toward Firebox, but Bondic gets the call from his teammate, he's there. Guardian now has to recover, bomb dropped immediately in front of him. 
This is massive because Navi, they know that. They have to recover this. And right now, Simple's going to be the one to take the fight. Simple getting dropped again. Guardian still just holding true. Guardian looking for another angle and Guardian winning the round. That up they save. Look how much damage it can do. Yeah, and, and Guardian, I, I, I don't have any words. Like, he's so good in those situations where he, like, he can, you can't let him do that. You can't let him just uh, not smoke him off. Because right now, I mean, he's at 27 frags. He's been absolutely on point throughout this whole game. And he, he can you just basically, basically let him do whatever he wants. Like, you smoke him off. Make sure you don't go there. If you end up going, yeah, uh, entry again. They are, do, they are on a save, though. But yeah, that previous round as well, uh, the position of the Navi players, they were all on, uh, basically on a line on the A-bomb site. And that's to prevent, if Nothrips actually opts to do a smoke round on Whoa. the A-bomb site, they're not going to get smoked off at all. They can actually help each other. Zeus lucky to get out of there live as he gets stinked down to six. But it leaves only Bondic remaining. So it could be a flawless round potentially here from Navi. Should Bondic not find any kills at all, and Edward already in position. Bondic, get that gun back out if you want to do anything at all. He does, but he still doesn't. It's going to be 13. Navi very close to taking a one-map score advantage in the best of three against Flipside. And moving forward, remember the winner of this to play Cloud9 in the grand final. North American soil, North American team. Yeah. You excited? Yeah, I am. A little bit. Wee bit. Wee bit. I think it's good for Cloud9. Two weeks in a row, at least it's showing some oh. consistency. But Blade actually catching Edward as he tries to go very aggressive to beat the underpass to try and slow flip sides push down and try and get that mid control in their favor. But Guardian now is inside connector. He's looking for more. And man, oh man, this guy's been on point today. You said it. Had 27 kills just a moment ago. I think he's up to 28 now, looking for 29. Eco tagged up, only lagged as that bullet hole. You can see it in the archway. Just collects the wall. Otherwise, that was a dead direct kill. As Guardian changing his angle again, two players inside connector as well. So even if they try and push that off aggressively, there's a rifle waiting to catch them off as that's flamey in position as we see now. Markalov trying to find out who exactly is there. And how deep does Markalov go as he actually does get, get, what? Markalov, what a play. He gets Guardian first off and then there's no response. Flamey doesn't peek out aggressively and he gets caught off guard. And Markalov, great awareness now as Simple takes down C's. Flip side have opened up this round massively. Zeus brings it back a little bit. As he gives himself a chance, one, what was a one on three is now a one on two, but Bomb's already planted on the B side. He has to go for a full retake with the FAMAS, and that flash a little bit deep, just beyond his feet. So he still has the position to push in. It won't delay his retake any longer than just a momentary second, brief moment in time. And simple though, he's still going to close it out because they knew exactly where he was coming from. And flip side's on nine. Yeah, not. Do you see the Arasan for Zeus here now? It bows for trouble. But yeah, Flips are playing a very, uh, very mixed style approach. You don't see that many uh, smoke rounds coming in. It's, it's mostly pick and play. Uh, Guardian with the great, or Markov with a great round there, coming in to connect to getting the two, two frags there, up to go then later B, because the rotation was ba pretty much um, cut off. Uh, but yeah, not, not that much tactical coming in for Flipside. Markalov again just getting inside connector needs to be aware though that there is a player that's on catwalk even though he jump peeked that he didn't see all the way back to the corner and Hiko he'll get the trade now he's aware as he throws that flash out to try and give himself some space but Bondic again so reliable he hasn't had the game necessarily that we've seen Guardian have on the opposing side but his kills have been impactful and again he gets toward the site so they've got an entry but what can Zeus do with the auto sniper is seized will get back into blade smoke off connector has bomb does he know he has bomb I don't think he spotted it to his left yet doesn't even matter they still have to fight against him and he's not going to allow that to happen two rounds now to go yeah and this will put um, flip side in a very awkward situation money wise uh, just based off this this is this is a, a choice here for for blade if they want to end up just force buying trying to uh, still win the round or win the game or if you just end up saving and then opting to uh, play for a tie and that's that's basically the call that the blade made here now it's like we can't afford anything unless we want to do tech nines just just save out and uh, we'll try and uh, and win out the rest auto sniper still up we didn't really get to see it contribute much last round but i'm always interested to see how people implement these and zeus no surprise he's playing by ticket booth on a which is quite common as Hiko's actually stacked with Markalov in the underpass with only the pistols, so they need to get into close proximity. And Guardian's gonna go for the peak. He drops down, he gets dropped in return. That would have been incredible if he could line them up because potentially they were. But he doesn't get anything from it. Flamey now responding. It's Hiko with the tech nine. But Tico, Hiko's down on 17, so that allows Edward easily to push through the ladder room. And Edward's gonna close out the round from that position inside window. Match point now for Navi on the first map. 
Yeah, looking very soft for Navi. Uh, and this is what I was worried about for flip side, only getting um, the seven rounds on their on their CT side, knowing how good Navi is on their seat uh, on their CT side. And especially when you have Guardian playing like the way he is as well. Uh, on top of that, their their economy is, is quite good as well. You see yet another auto sign from Zeus, so. Edwards pushed all the way up middle, dodging that first flash, and Hiko's got no idea he's there. Absolutely none. That flash was not even intended for him. That was just intended to allow him to peek window. Markolov forced out of position by the Molly. As Bondic's going to wait toward Palace. And a smoke now to cover him. Guardian shoots through it. Knowing that angle to perfection, Bondic goes down, so no entry on A this time, and it's left to two flip side players. Navi looking very poised to close this map out with only... Simple and Markolov remaining, what can they possibly look to do? And Markolov, unaware that Seize is immediately on the other side of that smoke. If it dissipates, he's going to be in the line of fire, and it's slowly dissolving. Now they'll put out a second one, and that means that Seize can just spam through it, because obviously they're there, and they've got a player pushing in behind. So Simple, one on five. Oh, he Very likely oh. not going to happen. Oh, man, how on tilt would that have put Simple even just going into map two? He would hate that, but either way, yeah, it is going to go to Navi. I think that's why he did it as well, getting that knife, moving into the second map now, just tilting Simple out completely. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, very, very solid performance from Navi. Uh, great to see Guardian uh, playing so well as well, coming yeah. into uh, the, the next map, which will be Inferno. Uh, and this, I think this is a, a major problem for Flipside, knowing, seeing how they played yesterday versus uh, NIP on that map. Uh, I, I, I just don't see them getting back from this. And Navi's ability on the CT side to control and contain middle. How many rounds did we see? Yes, we saw Flipside players. We saw Hiko a number of times get out from the underpass. But then he looks toward connector and there's like another guy still catwalk. There's still one window. So even though they had a little bit of position, they couldn't get anywhere through the choke points. Yeah. Like Navi just contained them perfectly. Yeah. And the only times they ever got anywhere near the A site was when Bondic actually was going to get the entries for them coming out of Palace. When yeah, he lurked exactly. late and caught someone off guard. But short break, short break. And then we'll be back for map number two, Navi flip side. I've learned to embrace my biggest fan, Flaren. Also, I also have a fan. But I, I think I put in more product than you. I think I just need to... Cut my hair. I mean, to be fair, it looks like we're outside, you know? It's like, yeah, we're... Uh, Dreamy in Montreal. Like, yeah. I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm done with it. So, map two, Inferno. We yes. talked about this. It was actually, of all the three maps, probably the most favorsome to Navi, just simply because of how Flipside play it. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, I, don't, I, I don't see Flipside doing anything on this map versus Navi. I wonder if I can just, like... There. We're done. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, either way, we're ready to get going and get underway for map number two. And, and again, you have the, on top of that, you have Navi starting on CT side. So. Exactly. And it's Navi with already the one map score to their favor. Guardians on, on fire. We saw him in the first map. This is another map. His T side off in this map actually impresses me. A lot of people don't always give it credit. I think he's really good at manning up, pushing through smokes inside. Banana, but look at this start from Seize. Oh. This is just a slaughter right now. They already have three kills in, and we're not even to the minute and 30 second mark. And... Blades running back through the underpass trying to hide, and he, is he going to get away? I'm not 100% sure. He at least gets one on the exit to Zeus, but they're pushing him behind and Seized is there. Seized has him down, and Navi, that was an extremely fast pistol round. Yeah, 4K by Seized, and those two entries down mid is like... Oh, that's so rough for flip side. I was looking at the nades. Blade had uh, a smoke in two flashes. Obviously, you're going to smoke off one side in middle and flash them up, and probably uh, rotate it over to the... Uh, rotated around from uh, the arch side, and that just did not happen. Seize did not let him at all. Yeah, I mean, the, the amount of... I mean, it's not, it's not even disrespect at that point, but it's just the amount of confidence they have to rush oh, yeah. that quickly on a pistol round and know that they're split. So if, if they run into a rush in return, like let's say they went down banana like that, Seize gets dropped, and then all five of them push banana. But they, yeah. they don't even, that wasn't even like a thought process to them. They were just like, no, nope, we're going to do it. We're going to win this round. And now we've got some trades. Hiko's actually got them in, and they're really close onto this A site. So a potential bomb plant to come in right now from Flipside. That would be actually a massive deal if they could at least get some money rolling. But that bomb is in the open, and Flaming, as we can tell, has full vision of it. They have to fight their way back just to pick it up. So it might be close, but no cigar. Nice light, no cigar. And it's going to be Flaming now to take down Bondic. It leaves just Markolov deep inside the pit. Very low on HP, and now deep inside the grave. It's going to be two for Navi. And flip side with no bomb plants, have to save for one more. Yeah, and uh, that round for, yeah, sure, I understand it's an eco round, but Blade bought like Molotov, smoke, and a flash, going banana by himself, 
trying to, I don't know, fake Navi off. Like, I, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh, and then foregoing apartments. Sure, they got, to, they got two kills, but it's like use the nades to the place you're going maybe. <laughs> Might end up there in your favor. Double nades stack down mid. No one really close enough for those nades. Those ones don't really bounce that far to the left, and that's where everyone turns the corner. But Hiko getting one kill. That's all. I mean, look at Navi. Is this not just manning up and taking it away right now? To like, this is totally going to get inside flip side. Like, you know, this is going to boil them a little bit that they can't even get anywhere on the map. Yeah, but despite, yeah, exactly. And that's, that's Navi's point. They, they know that they're on an eco anyway. Uh, just pushing when they do have an eco is just showing uh, flip side that, okay, we're not scared of you. And that it's going to make flip side a little bit more passive now, perhaps, uh, coming into this first round. We'll see how Blade recovers from this. Because the one thing about Blade, like we said, Getright says he's very good at knowing his individual opponents. These guys know each other both. I mean, it goes both ways with the CIS regional battle, right? Like, the, uh, Navi always seemed to know Flipside's tactics extremely well. No pun intended. As Rip Chicken gets burned alive. Little barbecue at mid. Flamey using that smoke, trying to flash through. Or rather, over the top was Hiko, but so far no damage dealt in either direction. And Zeus goes more passive. This is a really interesting play because they don't have anyone directly inside pit. They're playing that apartment hold from inside graveyard. That's where Edward is right now. So this means that they have a decently passive truck side and a passive aggressive arch side because Guardian is still looking to peek the corner, but they're going to rush it onto him. Guardian finding the first on Simple, gets himself around the corner just in time, flashes out, they turn, and they turn too quickly. It's going to be Guardian out on top, and another shot as Blade comes back around the corner. Guardian pre-aiming it. Thanks very much for the AK. Thanks very much for the hat trick. Hiko Markalov, what can they possibly do in this situation as the bomb's all the way back down at the bottom of middle still. 33 seconds. Guardian does eventually drop to Hiko. And if Markalov can find one more entry, they might have a chance of working toward the site. That's going to happen, but with Hiko going down, that's... Not going to be the opportunity they were looking for whatsoever. And Edward closing it out. Navi, first pistol, first gun. Yeah, and Guardian pl played that so good. Uh, Simple was a little bit uh, uh, too fast on pushing up uh, arch side and middle. It didn't really have any help. Guardian getting the first, first initial frag. Using that flash to his advantage, just pushing out. And that, third, that third kill was nasty. And now he just had enough. He, just bought, he bought a shotgun. I'm not, I don't even want to buy an off. Edward down mid again. Look how aggressive Navi is playing this, and they're taking everything away from Flipside. Again, yes, it's pistols, but every single opportunity they get to push down, they're going to do it. And yep. this, I mean, this is so frustrating for Flipside. There's nowhere to go. We said the sandbox was full on Mirage. Well, it's overcrowded here on Inferno as well, and Flamey catching Bondic. That'll, again, close out around in very quick fashion. Yeah, and we do need to, to see an off on Simple here. Look at the money right now for Zeus. Yeah, he, he's loaded. But yeah, we do see him an off a simple. And that's exactly what they need when, when Navi's playing like the way they are. Sure, on the weapon round, they didn't really push that much. But you need to make sure that you, if they end up pushing, you need to make sure that you can actually hold that, uh, the map control that Navi's so desperately trying to get. Simple does have his op up now, so we'll see what he can do with it. Think back to Star Series when Simple against, I believe it was Navi, had 11 kills in the first half and eight of them were with the op. And they were both in two rounds. And already, there you go. There's the indication. He's got the first, but he's... Oh, he's not. It's actually Blade that goes down. I thought he was going to walk through the smoke to the demise of Flamey, but Flamey actually took his teammate just in front of him. So Simple survives. With only one kill so far in the round going their way, it's two men down. But they'll work toward apartments, and we'll see if Simple can find another entry as Markalov's with him. And a pre-anticipation from Na'Vi, just a flashbang into the hallway. It won't do much to deter, but it might indicate that, yeah, we know you're coming. And we're going to have these angles held, but Simple looking forward. His teammate crossed in front of him, and he still hit the shot. I thought his teammate may have prohibited his vision of seeing his opponent, but Edward still gets dropped down. Now it's Zeus's turn to get back into Bonnick, and Zeus doubles up. He takes down Simple as well. So off his drop, Markalov laughs to the left. At least gets the kill on the player. Patio recovers the bomb, one on two, but looking the wrong direction. Is he going to get taken down from behind? Where's the shot? Finally, it comes in. It's actually from Library. But Flamey continues the shutout. It's six for Navi and zero for Flipside. Simple getting the entry onto Garden in middle there. Just, it opens up the map so much. You don't want to run through the smoke and banana and just lose two guys off the spot. You have enough time to just wait it out. Chances are Navi's going to play 2B, uh, two, two 2A two to just wait it out. Like, you don't have to take that gamble when you're in that situation getting the entry. Especially on a play like Guardian. That's like the, the go-to guy for Navi. Shot from Guardian. Eco tried desperately to bait that one out, but Guardian was not fooled. 
Either way, that means Hiko goes down, and again, they've got the man advantage early for Navi. Yeah, and if Navi keeps on doing this, just smoking down Banana, keep on pushing it, uh, they have two options flip side. I should just leave it alone, or I should take it aggressive. Like, buy some Malta, just smoke off, or Malta it off, and just try and push, push him back as soon yeah. as possible. <coughs> through and take the fight. Because they're playing it with a two-man. If they stacked it with three, it might be a little bit more problematic. But you can actually see a, a team that's very good at doing that exact... Actually, Navi's not bad at themselves for taking through the smoke when it's a deep smoke. But Fnatic's very good at doing that as well. Getting back banana control when it's taken from... Because, I mean, the simple thing is, if you control banana, it actually dictates what goes on at the A site as well. Simply exactly. because it limits them so much that if you have a deep banana control, you can play B with essentially one player early on. Exactly. So it really is a key to the map in so many ways. And like you say, if you're not going to have it, you can give it up and try and play it on A, but then you still have the possibility of running into a four-man stack if that becomes a little bit predictable. So eventually you are going to have to win that back. But for now, it's going to be Bondic evening up the round with a kill onto Zeus. I love this position from Edward. It's so often overlooked. You can actually still see into the site, but it's hard to hit that first shot, but not even called because they don't know where he is. So Markolov runs in. Now it's brought back, and again, it's Bondic who's being completely dead reliable. All three kills so far in this round it allows the bomb to go down. Aziz has the M4. It's going to be he and Flamey that have to retake this site. And Simple's got 11 HP, so there's a chance to find him quickly, but he's the one inside pit. Don't overpeak. Simple does. Man, he mans up in every situation, and he pulls it off. Only a player like him would ever do that. Yeah, and uh, being in the deficit, Bondic with three great k kills just opening up the whole uh, A bomb site. A little bit worried about Navi there in terms of like Zeus just pushed up uh, Quad all by himself, not a flash, no, nothing. And you have one guy very, playing very passive in pit and then guarding uh, up along. You want to play together there, you have the advantage. Don't throw it away. So Guardian flashes himself for a peek, but there's already a smoke down there, so he doesn't actually have full vision of the stairwell. But look at the aggressive push again. Navi taking over Boiler and Tyler. So you talked about taking over Banana, now they're getting aggressive on the A side as well, and that means simple. As soon as he jumps up, gets taken down. Zeus is in behind to flank out on Markolov. He's dropped as well. I mean, this is just solid stuff right now. So much map control from Navi. Every aspect. And this is so hurtful from flip side as well. Winning the previous round, losing this one. He's going to reset the money bonus for him. They're not going to be in a good position. Smoke to drop. Arch side potentially allow Bondic to push out from the boiler doorway, but as that flash pops, he's got to delay a little bit further. Blade making sure there's no gap actually fires through it, so Guardian could re peek. And he knows angles. He can definitely just fire through that smoke if Blade's not careful. And Edward this time not on the pillar behind. He's directly on top of the balcony. And look where Zeus is as well, sitting on the half box, just able to spot inside the doorway. So decent crossfire set on truck side. And Zeus is going to drop down because they've heard. A player rotating over, and in fact, Zeus is down to 19 HP, but Flash comes out. Is Edward going to use that to peek himself? He won't because he's not, still not sure what's going on in the doorway of the apartments. But all the while, the bomb has worked back toward Banana. It's gone passive in that position as this is the deepest they've got. Hiko's going to find out where Flamey is. Take him down immediately. They try and take the bomb in, but it's already dropped from Guardian as he rotates over quickly. And six seconds, they could not possibly afford to drop the bomb. Yeah, no. And uh, yeah, that we're talking about for, for Flipside here, they have, they have no money. Uh, he could possibly maybe buy a flash uh, and a smoke, or maybe two flashes, one smoke. Uh, smoke up one side of the middle and just try and kill off Guardian getting the up. Or just try and rush B. We will see here. Usual, Anavi. They know that they're saving. Pushing down middle. Edward using that M4 again. Every chance they get, they definitely know the economic situation because as soon as the pistols are out, the Nikes are on and they just quickly get down middle. It's simple. There's at least a 1D. And to his total of those over the last year, but Guardian is there with the op. And again, this is just sliding out of control so quickly against Flipside. Yeah, uh, and yet another, I wouldn't really call it low buy for Flipside, but they're not going to have everything that they want. And they, they still keep on, uh, they don't have the economy enough to actually buy the Molotovs and stuff for, let's say, a B execute. So they're forced to play this game where they actually have to just go for entries, and it's hurting them right now. Simple. Hiko. Trying to find an entry, and Simple's actually... No, I take that back. It's actually him, Hiko from Simple, but Simple was toward the bench. I thought he'd be the one to hit the shot. It's Hiko that pops out at the right time. This gives them the opening pick again. They've only had it in one other round that I can recall when Simple had the off. 
So we'll see if they can try and capitalize on this as Edward's going to get aggressive on the inside of that smoke, hoping potentially that a flash comes over the roof. It'll be beyond him and he'll be able to take the fight still, but instead, having realized that hasn't happened, goes to a more passive position as Zeus is going to be the one to get aggressive and Bondic was waiting for him. Seized though, did at least catch Hiko. So it doesn't get too far out of control. It doesn't go to a two versus five. It stays as a four on three. But yeah, now it's like so yeah. spread out. They need to, yeah, they do have two apps. The bomb is also moving his way over there as well. Flamey, though, just finding Markalov. No answer goes to the reload, gets in behind the statue, and now we know Simple's on top of him. Can Simple hit the shot? He doesn't. Flamey fights himself out, and Flamey closing the round. Man, we talked about this guy coming onto this team and what he can do. Yeah, and uh, again, like Flipside, they need to stick together. They have the advantage. You have two guys in the apps. What you can do is you did have, I believe you have one smoke left as well, just smoke off. Uh, Arch and just run towards Quad, quad and just sandwich the Flamey onto in the pit instead of just going one by one because you're basically just playing to their, to their advantage and you, you end up losing a bunch of rounds because of it. And Guardian just standing in the middle waiting for someone to peek him but they've got a ult mid right now and they're actually going for Boiler quickly. And there's a really passive hold on the rest of the A site so Guardian, if he's not careful and rotate, okay now he has gone to the Arch. I was going to say he could get taken down from the flank on Boiler door. I think he's heard them though, so he's actually put his sights in that position. Meanwhile, his two teammates, they've gone passive inside Arch and Simple blinded completely. Stuck inside the apartments. Guardian re -peak. first was successful, gets tagged up, hits the second on Blade, and he wasn't actually looking for that shot. Seized is actually the one to hit that kill, and Guardian, although it looks like he hits all those, it's actually yeah, Seized who say, supports him. You hear the crowd as well, I thought it was Guardian, I was like, damn, son. Yeah, that would have been, been impressive. Yeah, yeah, it, it was Seize that been. was there with the M4. It would have been very impressive. We'd Someone just needs to like take that clip, edit the obituary, <laughs> so it just says Guardian, and it would look amazing. Yeah, uh, but we do see a timer coming in from Flipside here. Uh, very smart choice. Being 10 to 1 down already, perhaps it could have taken it a little bit sooner. Uh, because they are, I mean, they are getting some entries from time to time. They do, they, they can't afford an op on the Simple if he wants to as well, but it's going to be Glass Cannon. But I think at this point in time, they actually really need it. Yeah, well, I, that goes without saying. I mean, this is, this is map two, they're down one, and they're down nine rounds, Yeah, we're only 12 in. Yeah. We're, we're, about to, we're 11 in, we're about to start the 12th. Yeah, I mean, overall, you can say it looks very stressful in the flip side, uh, in the flip side corner in terms of uh, their communication right now. You know, they're not working together. Uh, if they can just talk about that and just make sure that, okay, guys, if we do end up getting the entry, just stick together at least two guys. So, but if they actually do uh, push us, we need to get their revenge frag so we don't at least let, it, let the advantage in the round slip. As he heard, obviously. Not talking about anything. <coughs> They're just yeah. chilling. I mean, yeah, they don't Ed need to, right? Yeah. Edward spawning the crowd, you know, chilling. Pose for a selfie. Some fans. Yeah. It's fairly silent considering, though, now as we swap over. Oh, but you see the coach like, talking about it and the. Uh, just looking at his hand, she's like, okay, we go B, okay, or we go A. And Hiko, look, I mean, he's just like, I'm trying to listen, but <laughs> what are they saying? Don't as the coach, though, said he would translate as well, so I imagine he'll brief Hiko on all of this as well. Markolov. I mean, Blade, yeah, now Blade, this is a full conversation now because Blade's definitely chiming back in. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the way that it should work here, especially on a map like Inferno, yeah, sure, maybe you want to... Uh, try to involve Hiko a little bit, but play to its strengths on this map and just play uh, as a unit yourself and just make sure that, okay, if you end up going B, just, just drop Hiko off somewhere because he will do the job for you. Do you know what the frustrating aspect is that you see, though? Like, like Nuganavi, they're, like, they're in timeout right now as well, obviously not called by them, but they're talking to each other directly, eye to eye. Yeah. Flip side, we're all just staring at their monitors. It's like they're in their own bedrooms at home again and they're on Mumble, right? Like, yeah. Or whatever, Ventrilo, whatever they use in Europe these days, TeamSpeak. I don't think you guys Mumble. use Mumble. You guys use Mumble? Uh, well, you guys did as we much. used to use Mumble. They're, I mean, it's 50. Oh, well, maybe not 50 50, but. Um, but yeah, for Flipside now, obviously coming in from, from a pretty poor Mirage T showing uh, onto here. Also, troubles on the T side, uh, which, which, which makes sense considering that yeah, you, do, you do have a stand in. And uh, on the seat side, it's all about holding the angles. And obviously, you're going to have an easier time doing so. But moving on to the T side, where you actually do need some solid teamwork, that's where issues might come up. Smoke's not as deep this time on Banana, actually. So they put that right in front of the car. This actually could give a bit of control to flip side, but they've already pretty much committed to the top of alt mid. So this is a different approach again from both teams, really. We'll see if this timeout works. 
You mentioned it yesterday, in fact, that after timeouts, I think it was actually, maybe it was similar. It was one of you two that mentioned that after the timeout, it's like almost expected these days that you win the round. It's just like that reset button that seems to work. Well, yeah, have to keep, you have to keep in mind, yeah, when, when they t take a t timeout, now we will also talk about, okay, what, what are they going to talk about? What, ha what have they not done? That's why you saw the smoke oh. uh, in the car. Guardian was looking in the right position to take down Simple there, but looked away at exactly the moment Simple exposed. That smoke slowly dissolves. They'll pop a flash over the top of the roof as well as Guardian. Looking to cover off in the archway. Flamey just holding alone in front of that smoke. Does have support behind him though from Seized all the way back at Spools. And this might be the right call because Flipside are slowly grouping again on Banana. So this is something Flipside could look at. Although the Banana aggression was there this time, of course, they didn't go for that deep smoke. I mentioned it, but they are giving it up late. So there's still a chance to get close to the site late. The problem is the only other time they went here, they had 10 seconds left. They dropped the bomb on entry. And this time they've only got 19. They're losing lives again as Flamey picks up a double of its blade to bring it back, though. Two for him. Simple coming in the long way around. Has to join his teammate as the bomb's going to get out solo. Simple's not in position to protect, but Blade somehow gets that in with just the smoke to deter Guardian from coming through. And Guardian down to 12. There's a real chance here, but Simple going down puts a lot of pressure on Blade, who fights his way across. I'm surprised they didn't go for that peak to slow him down. And as the flash comes through, it's Guardian with the op. It's 11 and it's 1. Yeah, uh, and just to continue my line of thought, uh, with the timeout, obviously now we're also talking about what Flipstar might be doing of what, the, what they haven't done and what are the calls for probably be. Well, they haven't, taken, they haven't tried to take over Banana like fast in the round. That's why you saw the car smoke trying to be a little bit, little bit more defensive just in case that was Flipside's flip uh, tactic. So uh, overall, I think that Navi is just doing a really good job in reading Flipside right now. Smoke bouncing for Guardian to be blocked out, isolated. And again, it's a shallow smoke, but it does let Seas get in behind the car. He'll spam down the alley and Flamey, that nade, does go down with the contribu con contribution, excuse me, of Seas actually getting the kill against Bondic. So Molotov off on the sandbags. Flamey goes forward of it, in fact, but he's oh, still yeah, inside right. of it. He's still dying down, and Hiko only has to put one bullet in. It's a headshot regardless from the AK, but now they've got an entrance. Finally winning over Banana, so no one to deter them from planting the bomb. This will allow post plant positions to be quite solid, but look at the rotation right now of Zeus. He's actually going down middle, so they'll split this 1-1. One, one. And which way does Edward go? He might go Banana as well, so there's going to be two coming from the back. Markolov's low on HP. He's got to make this call. As he goes on 27, he's actually in a worse state. Worse state. Smoke out for Guardian, though. They won't be able to work much here. Good nade coming out from Zeus. Shot coming in from Guardian, looking for the entrance, and now they go. He switches to the pistol, back over to the op. Still blinded out, though, as that flash catches the two play remaining players on Banana, and Simple's gonna take down Guardian, but Zeus has actually got both over toward Emo. It's the last player remaining on Simple, and they isolate perfectly. It's Edward to close it off, and Navi are unstoppable right now. Wow. Just barely got that defuse. Yeah, and um, flip side was actually very, um, very poor. Um, after plant positions, they actually didn't have calls at all, uh, being afraid that Navi might already have that. So having one guy on Banana, and then by the time that he went off on the nade, you were forced to push back, and you had three guys on site, and you just got sandwiched. And it's really not, not that much you can do there unless you're actually hitting your shots. So uh, overall, great free tap on Navi. Uh, shame that flip side actually didn't make a decision there and push into coils. So C's looking over top of the smoke right now. Good read. Stare at the HG. Less damage didn't do dealt. Any damage at all. Yeah, it actually passed the car, didn't it? Thank you very much, old Lada. Actually, I don't even know. Lord Gaben? What? Lord Gaben? Lord Gaben. It's actually not a lot. It looks more like a. I don't even know. Old Citroën. Either way, it sees to take down Hiko. Guardian's gone as well, so it stays to fours. And again, they've got this one player inside Banana right now that allows, allows the rotation, so there's still three players on A, so it's not weakened at all from Navi's side. And flip side need to get a read on this and exactly what they want to do. Yeah, and a lot of people do this, so obviously the smoke is all down. When this smoke fa uh, fades, Flamey doesn't have a smoke left. You want to make sure you take over Banana so you don't let this happen. But instead, they're opting to go towards mid, and they're just losing men, and they're ba basically going in, even though Navi lost the entry, they're still working at full firepower when, they do it, when you do it like that. So Markolov wants to get back inside Banana, and you're right, this is where they go in late because that smoke's gone. Three versus two, Blade, nine HP, Zeus on the way back over slowly because he doesn't want to overcommit and leave a solo hold on either side, but needs to be in position to support it. Now he knows it's going to be on B because that smoke will give it up. Markolov's around the corner, already over top of the grill, but Flamey is going to shoot him right in the back. It's a proper execution, has to stick this plant, and thank you very much. That makes it easy for me, says Flamey. 
As round 14 again goes to Navi, it's going to be pretty I mean, 13 2 at the best case, worst case scenario for Navi yeah. at this point, best case for flip side. Yeah, um, yeah, no, and uh, just as, as a basic li line of thought for, for, for everyone listening, when you do get an entry, make sure you have the control of banana as well as middle so you don't cause the rotate where, you don't, where they can take a gamble and you actually fall for it. So, uh, and that's exactly what happened to Flipside here. And they, uh, it cost them, even though they, they got the entry, they, they uh, ended up going into, uh, into the favored uh, side that Navi was, uh, was guessing on. So. Smoke deep though. So Edward's just gonna wait for that Guardian, man. Simple just walks out at Guardian. He's hardly appeared on the screen before he's already shot and killed him. No chance whatsoever. Well, there's more smokes to delay, more smokes to execute right now. His blade, that'll drop inside of the pit. Isolate that just a little bit. If they can add a second one inside the window of the car, make things even better to cover off the crack, but sees through the back as he waits on the arch side. There's no answer for it. And now as they realize they've got problems on the right, they might have problems on the left. Zeus comes back out and he goes shot in the back. Our Edwards flash, though he's inside pit and still makes it work. Guardian. Had he not shot Bondic, might have put Edward in a tough spot, but instead he still closes it out. 14-1, and I dare say Navi are that close to the finals. Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure. And uh, again, coming back to the map, Beatles, uh, Flipside really had to win Mirage, because uh, Inferno is one of those maps where it's like, if you have a bad showing, you can't really... The way that you played yesterday, you can't solve that in one day. Um, and then coming into Navi, also... You saw that, I mean, they ran him over, basically. Uh, yeah. and They're they sitting on the same time. score line as yesterday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. time to avoid Inferno. Yeah, and chances are we're going to see a very fast play here coming from Navi, either a B-Rush or, um, or a rush up mid, maybe from second mid with... Uh, Sue's actually buying a, an HG. So we might actually see a B here where he's actually just going to throw it towards the car just in case they push. Up middle, yeah. Yeah, and that's exactly where they're going. Deep nade, seized. He is blinded just a little bit, but put a shot out that... Did a little bit of damage, a warning shot, perhaps the blade as he goes down to 75, goes for the retreat, and they're still just coming. Navi doesn't want to stop. Guardians around the corner on patio, seized on the, around the corner on Arch. Full wrap on the A site. It's going to be Bondic that's inside of it, and Guardians already looking to him, and jumping shot from Zeus as he comes around the corner, lands it in the head with that Glock, and Markalov trying to recover with the USPS, can't do much. So it's left to Simple, and he's actually got two as Hiko comes around. These two contributing very well together. Bring this back. Bomb is planted, though, so they still have a job to do as they have the man advantage. Take that away. Edward making a double, and it's left to Blade one-on-one -on -one now with Zeus. Has the HP advantage, but has to bait him out with the defuse, and Zeus, he's falling away from this. He's actually so far away, in fact, that he could have stuck that defuse Blade, and even though he actually just picked up the kit, so he could have made this work, actually, with the full five seconds. Instead, he goes hunting, and Zeus is playing this perfectly. He's not going to happen. Blade could have had this round over. Little did he know what we know, of course, but... Now he has to hold, and Zeus is coming back in. Blade's still looking. It's going to go away. It's all done. It's 15 oh. rounds for Navi. That's a bit confusing. Yeah, I'm not sure what Blade actually did there. There's no time to actually fake anyway. Maybe it was dropped off. The reason why Zeus actually didn't peek the first time was because he saw the, um, Flamey saw in the death cam that he was faking. Good call. Yeah, so then Zeus was like, okay, fall back, fall back. Uh, so very smart play. Uh, good communication for coming in from Flamey there as well, calling it was a fake. But for Blade there, he could have actually hold that. He could have probably won there as well because Zeus was so far away. And there's no point in letting it go, because you did have the kid as well. And Hiko, very aggressive, hoping he can get a shot before they come around the corner, before they get in toward the site. And Edward's going to get the first, though, finding exactly where Simple was playing inside a boiler. Hiko does contribute with that first kill, but the bomb drop actually kind of gives a bit of an indication that they have to recover that. So Flipside's going to rotate accordingly, but Navi doesn't care. They just want to get in. They just want to close this out. They just want to play Cloud9 for victory as it is going to be Blade to at least make it a little more annoying, as does Bondic. Brings it back to a two-on-one. But Bomb is going to go down on the B site. Low HP for both. A bit of a chance here for Bondic with the AK. But 15-1. Potentially worse as that flash does pop out. Bondic, he's running. They've given his position away. Shot as well when he came around the corner. Definitely going to give it up, and there it is. One flash in. Guardian to pop out. Dominant performance. Yeah, uh, that round was unbeatable un really for... For flip side anyway, even if he ended up killing both, he didn't have a kiss and there wouldn't be any time. But yeah, very, very solid um, semi-final coming from Navi. Great to see Garden on point as well. Coming into Inferno, Simple. I, yeah, I mean, you can I understand why. And But then again, you have to keep in mind, yeah, you're using a stand-in, you ended up going into the semi-final. I was going to say, uh, it's still good. Be happy about it, right? Like, sure, may maybe you would have uh, hoped for, for like a better scoreline. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're, you're playing against Na a team like Na'Vi that's been showing great results as of late. There's not, you can't really ask for that much more. 
Uh, but yeah, now I'm actually really excited for the finals. Yeah. Out nine versus Navi, and I think that. I think they're the class of the field here this weekend. I mean, yes. obviously, Envy's had some problems. There's a lot of rumors flying around that there's potentially more problems in coming for them. So Cloud9, this is the thing, right? Because Cloud9, everyone's going on and hyping them up, rightfully so. They've made a lot of improvements, but they've only really had to play against Envy's in terms exactly. of heroes in the last yeah. two tournaments. It's so now first it's first task coming into it. I sure exactly. it's the final. I would say in, maybe not taking anything away from, from the ESA, ESA, ESL one as well, but, you know, that was, that was their... Right, and so that's the thing. We say that the only team they beat recently is Envy, but look at how well like, they could have easily closed out against Fnatic. Yeah, yeah, right? they had a lot and, of... And uh, nothing said if we had a coach, maybe. I mean, these are all what-ifs, but it's experience. It's good for them. I mean, the big thing for their draws, though, have been so good, right? Their li uh, lines to the finals have been so, so yeah. perf almost perfect for them. Yeah, exactly. And uh, No, but I'm, I'm just very excited for, for the final, but I think that we do have... Yeah, the interview on the stage, similar to yeah. close it out, and then we'll... Prepare for that final. It's going to be awesome. But Semler, take it away. All right. Thank you very much, Sadokist. So very quick, uh, very quick semifinal again. So very, two very short semifinals actually to start the day off here. But we will be going ahead with the post-match interviews. And joining me first is going to be Flipside's Junta. And come on up on the stage, man. I don't want to keep you waiting too long because already you weren't looking too happy over there. But um, this semifinal, already first impression, what happened? Um, on the first map, we gave up couple of runs when we were like 4v3 and 2v1 uh, when you're like making some uh, kind of mistakes with a team like Navi like a strong team uh, it's gonna be really tough uh, to uh, take it, the game back so we've got two important runs on the first city side uh, we could even uh, finish it like 11 to 4 but we were like 8 to 7 losing just because of two rounds could I ask you real quick what were the what the reasoning was behind uh, going with Mirage first uh, sorry, one more? What, the, or what was your decision making behind going with Mirage first? Um, actually, we are pretty uh, good playing on Mirage with them, usually. We had some online matches when we beat them, and it was one of the maps, like uh, one of our favorite maps. So we were pretty confident on it, and if we just uh, uh, didn't do that, like a couple of mistakes, like small ones, uh, we could have it. Right. Okay. And then going into Inferno, second map, you know, that's also a strong map, uh, a strong map for, um, for Navi and the fact that you have Hiko, did that, did that phase you at all after what happened on Mirage? Uh, we knew that they're going to pick Inferno and we're going to start on T side, but our T side a bit uh, struggling, uh, especially with the players are standing because uh, it's like uh, one of the tough uh, maps, like you, your stretch, stress is going to like work pretty well and it's hard to, uh, it's hard uh, to do with, uh, with a standing actually. So what, uh, what is going to be the main thing you can take away from this tournament, seeing as how, you know, as you say, you had a stand-in. Uh, do, do you have anything that, that stands out as something that needs to get changed going into the next event? Um, no, uh, we're not actually going to like, uh, like big changes. We're just going to uh, think about all mistakes we did. Like the mistakes, uh, not about like uh, Spencer games. He was awesome. And uh, big thanks to him that he was attending and helping us to uh, play here. Uh, we will just uh, think more about our like mistakes, try to figure it out and like uh, uh, analyze it, not to do it in the future. All right, well, thank you so much for taking the time, and uh, congratulations on the finish. Semifinals for Flipside, still a very strong finish for them in this tournament, so they can't be too disappointed with this, especially because Hiko is here on home turf doing pretty damn good work. But we're going to go ahead and hear now from the winning team, and it's going to be none other than Guardian. The God Mode offer here joining me on the main stage. Guardian, congratulations on the win already. And, um, I, you know, we were kind of wondering on the sidelines, just how happy are you when you see some team, like a team pick Mirage for you? Or do you get a little giggle? Are you, are you kind of smiling? Well, I can't say we are happy about it because lately we haven't been playing that map that good. But last past games, like, we found a way how to play again. So we, I cannot say we are happy, but we are fine with it. We have stronger maps now, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, is it always frustrating to get Dust2 banned? Like the first ban is just like get rid of Dust2? You for the opera in particular? Well, <laughs> I don't know actually what, what were the bans, but yeah, it's up to our captain that what we want to play. So. And so going into Inferno, was, was, was there anything special that you had to do, or did you feel like everything just kind of fell into place for you? Well, Inferno is the map that we are confident on, so we want to play that map as much as we can because we know we have some 
easy decided rounds and this kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, we were confident in, very confident that uh, we will win that map. So going into the finals now, this is it, another grand finals for you. Are you uh, disappointed that you won't be getting a rematch versus Envy, or is Cloud9 a suitable opponent? Well, I wanted to play Envy because we played them in Kyo at Star Order. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised that they are not in the finals. So we have, but yeah, Cloud9 will be a tough game for us. Oh, you don't have much experience versus them. I think the, you played versus Skadoodle. And he lost, so he's going to be looking for something. But yeah, no, that's something to keep in mind is that uh, this is new territory for you. So when you come into this kind of situation, actually, real quick before I let you go, uh, what's going through your head if you play against a team that you don't really have too much to go off of? Well, I would say they don't know us and we don't know them. So we will play our game and they will play their game. So yeah, we cannot expect anything. All right, well, thank you very much for the interview, my man. And best of luck in the finals. We are, oh yeah, and something to point out as well is that there's an autograph session over here with Navi. So if you guys are fans, if you're here at the venue, be sure to come downstairs to the main stage. Right on the left, uh, Navi will be here for oh, give or take 20 minutes, half an hour. So you guys will have plenty of time for pictures. But we'll be back live with the women's semifinal because there are two tournaments happening here at ESWC. And the grand final will be between Games for You and CLG Red. So, you know, Steph Harvey home turf. We'll see how she fares versus the, uh, the, the Scandinavian mixed team. But that's going to be coming up next. We'll be starting the pre-show at around 2.15, so you have a little bit of time to go get some food and be back then.